Hello everyone, welcome to Smithy's 11, a new FIFA 16 Ultimate Team series. Been really looking forward to starting this one for a while now, so make sure you hit subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with the series. Anyway, let's just get right into the rules. First things first, as you may have picked up from the title, Alex Smithies is a central part of this and he'll be starting at goalkeeper every game. And every other player in the starting 11 must have the surname Smith, so we're bringing this ragtag group of Smiths together and hopefully creating a solid team. Now the substitutes must have Smith in their name, but they can have other things, so Naismith will be involved, Leech Smith, those sort of guys. Now Captain Smithies deserves a bit of a boost, it is his team after all, so he'll get a gold training card every game. This takes him up to a 78 overall, so it's a solid gold level keeper. In each episode, to help Captain Smithies out, there'll be a player from the squad which will be featured, and he'll get a gold training card, which should help the team out a bit. Now I know what you're thinking, people don't like these training cards in FIFA 16, they're a little bit overpowered, but not really when you're using them on bronze and silver players, they just kind of bring them up to the standard of gold players. Captain Smithies and the featured player won't be the only two ways we'll be improving this team, as throughout the series we'll be earning training points. Now these training points will be earned through gameplay, pretty familiar looking. You get one per gameplay, three for a win, one extra for a draw, one per goal. Featured player scores, he gets two, one if he gets an assist, and if Captain Smithies gets a clean sheet, that's another one. And these training points can be spent on training cards. So for three training points, we'll be able to buy a gold, down to one for a bronze. If we want the all attributes training card, that'll cost double, so six training points for a gold plus ten all attributes card. These can be used on any player at any time. So a big aspect of this series will be what cards to use, when to use them, who to use them on, whether we should save them for big games or try to get some early points in the division, because it's going to be hard to compete with this team as they are. Now the goal of this series is just to find Smithy's 11's level. Now not sure where that will be, maybe Division 5, maybe Division 8, maybe Division 2, but we'll play along and see where we get. Now let's have a quick look at the team. Smithy's in goal, 78, as I was saying before, looks like a solid keeper. Across the defence, we've got Nathan Smith, Tommy Smith, Tommy Smith, and Michael Smith, so that's right, two Tommy Smiths in the centre. The uh, right centre back is playing out of position, but that's the best option for chemistry here. Across the centre we've got Jimmy Smith, Jonathan Smith, Martin Smith, and Corey Smith. And we've got the tall timber up top, Michael Smith from Barnsley and Matt Smith from Fulham. And uh, they're 6 foot 4 and 6 foot 6 in game, so hopefully we can get some crosses in and get some headers in the back of the net. We'll have a quick look at some of the bench players. We've got our Smiths up the top there and our Smith Pluses down the bottom and hopefully we'll be able to get them all involved. I'm sure Naismith will be a big part of the series, the only gold Smith player. So here's how it looks, 4 2, two, two. And uh, let's just get right into the first game and see how we can go in Division 10. My first opponent was the Beasts, this all gold Liga team. And uh, the first thing we noticed was a bit of a kit clash, and this was as good as we could get with our kit selections, so that was going to be something that needed to be fixed. Uh, I dominated early proceedings, Corey whipping in a shot, nothing much coming of it, and then Matt unleashing a shot soon after. But maybe he isn't really suited for long shots. Matt continued to dominate in this centre forward sort of position, providing a through ball here to Michael who fluffed the shot but then got the follow up and Smithy's 11 run the board. That first myth miss was a bit worrying, I wonder how many times I'll say Smith instead of miss in this game, but he did follow through with the goal. Matt tried his luck again from range but nothing much came of it and then Smithies was tested for the first time, but need better than that to beat Smithies, I think. Had some nice play down the wing here, and Michael had another golden chance. But he went just wide of the post. 
It's still applying the pressure on, and Michael had yet another chance. Should have done better here. Somehow, the ball didn't go in the back of the net, and it was still one nothing. My uh, opponent started to take control here. The pace of the defense exposed, and maybe, maybe he should have done better there. And he probably should have done better again here, but Smithies was up for the task. After stopping another shot, parrying away, and nothing coming from the corner, my opponent was frustrated either with the missed shots or the kid clash, and he quit the game. So a bit of a disappointing end. It was looking like a close game, but so it goes. So a one nothing win for Smithies 11. He did deserve the win, I think, there, and get three points, and we're on our way in Division 10. So that's all that matters. It's the three points, I'm happy with that. First thing to do after that game was to get a new kit, this uh, black one, hopefully sort out any issues with clashes. My opponent was Romans FC, a pretty solid looking French side, and another challenge for Smithies 11. Just uh, look at that lineup, beautiful. Anyway, Matweedy had best chance that's in the third minute, and uh, saved by Smithies there. Then Jonathan had a ping from range. Jonathan Smith, of course, not the Brazilian. Nothing came of that. My defense got torn a new one with this ball, but it was just out of Remy's reach. Matt Smith found himself with the ball and a bit of time on the edge of the box here, and he took the time and took the shot, and top corner, Great goal, Matt Smith gives Smithies 11 the lead. His first goal for the club. Just was given too much time here, the defense just stood off him and he put it away. It's too easy, deserved goal from Matt Smith there, he played well. Had a chance not too long after, again from Matt Smith. It's a golden opportunity to, to turn his goal into a brace but it thundered off the bar. Had the follow-up, should have put that away, but it was saved again. Made a couple of changes at half-time. Donnie and Michael coming on for their first runs. Remained a pretty cagey game with not too much happening. Nathan went in for a pretty nasty challenge there. Picked up a yellow card, which he definitely deserved. First card for Smithy's 11. And my opponent was unlucky here. Remy just offside as he was through on goal. That was the best chance of the second half, really. And that's how it ended. one nothing. Another win for Smithies 11. So, perfect six points from two games. Matt with the goal and Jonathan with the assist. Jonathan was man of the match. As you can see, it was a very defensive game. Maybe neither team deserved the win, but I'll take it. And it's looking good in Division 10. The third and final game of the episode was against this pretty solid looking BPL team. A couple of lone players in there. Definitely another good test for Smithy's 11. He started the brighter of the two teams. Smithy's saving us there. And that was going to be the story of the game, really. Time and time again, Smithy's just bailing us out. At least he was showing you wanted to win. Couldn't do anything about this though. Rondon coming through with a header past Smithies into the net and the first goal conceded for the team. My opponent really should have made it 2-0 here but hit the post and then on the follow-up saved and onto the post again. After barely getting forward in the first half I finally had a chance to get on a board here and hit it at the keeper, which is very disappointing. Should have done better from that far out. Made a couple of changes at halftime. Naismith and Donny coming on again for his second appearance. But the second half was just more of the same. Continual pressure on, on Smithies. But he just kept on keeping us in the game. And maybe a bit of luck as well. Had a great chance to tie the game up here, taken down just outside the box. Easy free kick range. Adam Smith came in, but passed it over. 
game was put out of reach here from the corner. Lamella putting it in the net. 2 0 to Ben Tecker's FC and Smithy's 11. It's going to have at least another game to get that promotion out of Division 10. Brought Mikhail Smith on to see if he could do anything, but there was a pretty much identical goal 3 0 and game over. It's a very disappointing game, but they're not all going to be easy with Smithies 11. Now, Smithies, he pulled his weight, but everyone else on the ground was very poor. 18 shots to 2. So that's brought us to the end of the episode. Two wins and a loss. Can't be too disappointed with that. That last game really showed that Smithies does need help, though. So those featured players each week will be very important, as will those training points. I forgot to mention the training points earned after each game, but the, the two 1-0 wins gave us six training points, one for the goal, three for the win, one for the game played, and one for the clean sheet. And that final game of the episode, we only got the one point for the game played. So we're on 13 training points. Probably won't start spending them yet. We're going to see if we can get out of Division 10 without them, try to build some up for the higher divisions. But uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see the next episode, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.